Hi everyone and welcome to this new tutorial. I want to share with you this style. I call it Redis. Well, the, the reason is obvious. With this style I try to give to the image a uh, red tint and low contrast, especially on shadows. And I will show you how I have done it. This is the after, the initial image, and this is the final result. As you can see the difference is huge. It takes a few steps so let's move on. I will compress the history stack and the first step is to warm up the image with the white balance plugin. I will increase the temperature a little bit. You can change the temperature when you have applied this style if you are not satisfied with the, with the final result. But I like to start with the processing with a warmer image. So next step we are going to use exposure plugin. We decrease the blacks a little bit and also the exposure around minus 0 0.5 stops like this we can decrease the blacks a little more so we have a low contrast image and now we are going to desaturate the image with a color correction plugin we are going to use just the saturation slider not the whole interface and we can move to 0 0.5 again as you can see the saturation is very low now next we move to the colorize plugin we will use this hue tone this reddish pink tone we will increase just a little the saturation 0 0.60 we let the lightness slider as it is and the source mix 100%. Next we change the blend mode to average like this. As you can see we already have this red tint. It's very subtle as you can see but we can give the image a little more power with the vignetting plugin. We can let all the sliders as they are but I like to move the saturation to zero and again we change the blend mode this time to overlay and now we have a powerful contrast that's the reason why we have changed at the beginning the exposure low in black and exposure and sliders we can change again if we want to adapt the image like this something like that okay and we can give the vignette in the shape and the and the strength that we want we can give a little more strength i think this is enough if we are not satisfied with this result we can change the tint for instance with the hue slider on colorized plugin like this giving different tones to the image or we can move to white balance and change the temperature maybe this is more subtle and also the tint like this this is greenish something more purple I think the green fits quite well okay I'm going to let the red stone and that's all I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as I will upload this uh, style on the dark tables wiki so you can download it and use if you want thank you very much see you in the next video